Welcome back, everyone. Kent here. Um, yesterday we went over forgiveness. And um, it might have been a little bit confusing. It might have been a little bit over your head or under your head or whatever. But let me, let me get to a point that I can explain it a little better um, and add some new material as well. Um, one of the things that I discovered is that I was having a problem loving people. And this is a relatively new thing. Um, it is based off of, well, a whole bunch of feelings, honestly. I had to look at this. And I actually wrote it out. I just wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote until I had myself kind of cleared out a little bit, had my head clear. And so what I'm going to talk about are feelings. Now, feelings are very tricky things. We're going to have them. They're almost like a warning light that says, hey, something's going on. Pay attention. You know, look at this. And so I was having feelings, um, and I had to justify those feelings, I felt, because they didn't seem quite right. Sorry, I'm being attacked by cats here. And so I began to look at it, and I said, what is in the way of me loving? And what came up was anger and fear and hatred, which is the opposite. So I began to look even further at this, and I broke it out. I said, okay, angry. What am I feeling? Well, I'm feeling angry at myself for failing. Okay. Now that plays into a lie, a wound that has a lie in it, and that is that I'm a failure. Okay. I'm angry at others for not understanding me. The wound or lie is that I'm not understood. I am so understood. I, I just don't feel understood. And that's a big difference. Um, I was angry at not being able to drive anymore. And because that made me feel like less of a person. That was my lie. Uh, angry that the finances were not going smoothly. And it was funny. I don't know who I was angry at. I think I was angry at the people that controlled the money. <laughs> and not necessarily anybody at this house. I was just mad that money wasn't coming in and that people were messing with us. Um, that one is a lie that is going to really be telltale. I am a loser. That was the wound. That was the lie that came up with it. Um, and it goes on and on. I'm angry at myself for making others miserable. Uh, the wound there was shame. I felt shameful that I wasn't loving towards people. I felt that I should be better. And uh, so that was anger. Then I went into fear. Um, I'm afraid of fuller financial aid because they've exerted a lot of power over us that they really don't have, but they've exerted it anyways. And uh, they've made our life virtually miserable. Um, and that ties into our finances again. Now, can you see a theme forming here? If my finances aren't under control, then I have fear and anger. All right. And why? Because I'm not enough. That's the lie. Uh, I'm afraid of losing everything. I'm afraid of myself. I'm afraid there is more for me to do in this life and I can't do it. Do you hear failure in there? There's a lot of that. So then I went towards hatred. What did I hate? And this was painful. But you know what? When you're suffering, you've got to do this. You've got to dig. Do it safely. And if it helps if you do it or share it with another person. But you've got to do it. So I was hating myself because of, and here's a whole list of lies. Here it comes. Disease has made me less. I can't love properly. I am ugly. That was one of my favorite ones. That's when I knew I was just floodgating. Uh, I am poor. I have nothing successful to show for my life. I, <clears throat> I can't provide for my family, see? You see, the theme's going there. I am not here for my family. My family is disintegrating. These are all lies. But these are painful ones that I carry and tell about myself. And then I just put down, my life hurts. Now, why did I do this? Well, there's a very simple principle. And that principle is, you cannot love what you hate. 
You cannot love what you don't forgive. You can't. And so I have to, at some point, acknowledge the lies and forgive myself. And what do I forgive myself for? Buying into them. Buying into such a sinful description of myself. God says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. That we are holy, blameless. That we are full of love. That's God's truth on how he sees us. And so, when we look at that, if we see all these things that are contrary, we know that we're dealing with wounds in our lives. Maybe somebody told us a long time ago that you wouldn't be a good person unless you're financially successful. Maybe somebody told you you weren't enough. Sarah's cheap attempt to get in the movie again. <laughs> you are more than enough. Let's see. Listen to your spouses and others. Don't listen to yourself. And so that's what I had to forgive myself of, was buying into these lies, these constant lies that t try to tear me down. And so I encourage you, as you're suffering, to begin to look at yourself very carefully. Begin to do this gentle digging process of going through the layers and looking at what you hate yourself over. Oftentimes when we're sick and ill, there's a lot of hatred that comes up of ourselves, of the disease, all this stuff. We make the disease its own entity outside of us. Oh, it's the disease. No, it's me with the disease. And I have to decide, am I going to love? In order to do that, I have to forgive. I have to stop hating. I have to stop believing the lies. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter what you're suffering from, a broken relationship, a medical condition, anything, this works. You've got to remember God's truth about yourself so that you can truly love. And I put it down rather simply in the end. I said, if I am centered in Christ, Christ is love, then I am centered in love. And it's true. If I seek Christ, if I pray for him to help me as I'm digging through this, I will be centered in love. And I spent the rest of last night centered in love. And I am now working on today being centered in love. And I'm referring to this list over and over again to try to make sure that I don't fall into the traps of the enemy. Because the enemy wants you to believe every lie that's on that list. So, I hope this is helpful. I hope the making of the list is helpful. Let me just go through the steps but really quick so it's not too challenging. Anger, fear, love, and hatred. And then you put down whatever you are feeling under those categories. Okay? So, for instance, for anger, I put anger at not being able to drive. Then I also put the lie, the wound. I'm not enough. Then after looking at all that, I look at my hatred of myself. And that's where I realize where I've screwed up. Because you cannot love that which you hate. All right. I hope that gives some help and relief. Please remember to view yourself as God views you. Uh, there's a great verse in Ephesians, I think it's chapter, I don't know. It's in the beginning of Ephesians, where Paul talks about how God views us. Let that be your mantra for the day and for your life. That God has chosen us. And we are not the hated organism that we think we are. God bless you all. I'll continue to pray for you. Continue to pray for me. And we'll stay in Christian community. God bless.